They were warm and summer-like September afternoons. They were bitterly cold, frost-bitten November days. The zephyr breezes and the frigid winds of autumn wafted across the field. At times, the skies were cloudless, the sun baking the green turf. The day held out its promise. On other afternoons, the heavy gray storm-laden clouds scudded their way high above the stadium. In rain, sleet, snow, in fair weather or foul, the game was the thing. Saturday afternoons became ritual, became legend. 100,000 students, grads, alumni, families raised their voices and arms in tribute, in song and encouragement, in vigorous support, in exuberant belief that this day would bring victory. They had gathered at midfield. The referees and umpires were poised. The captains were selected. The coin was tossed. Positions assumed. The band blared forth. The kickoff. The roar of the crowd. The sound of the boot of the ball. And then, and then the voice of the man who epitomized, personified, exemplified what the afternoon and the ensuing 60 minutes were all about. His voice was perhaps the most recognized voice of any individual in the state of Michigan. Instantly, those in the stadium, those listening at home, knew that the most exciting hour of the week was about to unfold. In prose and poetry, with bombast and hyperbole, with pride and prejudice, enthusiasm and excitement, he gave us the game of football like no one had ever done before or will ever do again. You know, they're running through the core. They're running through the core of all Michigan activities, both on and off this campus, a certain intangible thing. We call it the great Michigan spirit. Maybe you can relate to it if I tell you it's that atmosphere that permeates that stadium out there every Saturday afternoon in the fall when over 100,000 fans patiently wait to see whether Bo Schembechler's going to continue his winning ways. You know what I mean. You can feel the excitement, the tension, the charisma that surrounds that stadium every Saturday afternoon. His name was Robert Frost Eufer. And you can hear the tempo in the background as 104,000 fans are slowly picking up the tempo. And in a matter of seconds, old General Patton over there will say, take the field, men. And you're going to hear the golf darndest roaring from 104,000 fans. And this is his story. Johnny Wangler pitches off to Wolfhawk around the left side. He up over the gen. First down, 15. Catch to the 20, the 30, the 40. He's going out of the way. And it's a 45, 30, 20, 15. Catch by Marjorie Dillon. There he goes. It's the largest run in the history of Michigan football. Beginning in 1945, and for the next 36 years, Bob would broadcast 364 games eight Rose Bowls, an Orange Bowl, a Gator Bowl, every Michigan game, home and away. That will be deep, here comes motion, he's back for a pass, he's looking for a man, he's going to throw it down to the end zone, and it is caught! Touchdown! Touchdown by Kurt Stevenson, the La Jolla, California boy! I'll be joined by a chorus of voices. Dick Vitale. The guy would just pour it out like you couldn't believe, and I think that was beautiful. Coach Lloyd Carr. Everybody in the stadium stood and uh, he leaned out of the press box. And I'll never forget the emotion of that moment. And the people in that stadium had an opportunity to say uh, thanks for all you meant to Michigan. Bo Schembechler. Our three yard game sounded like they were ripping the defense to shred and picking up 15 in a crack. <laughs> Quarterback Rick Leach. We became outstanding friends very early in my career and it just developed over the years there and I loved and admired him very much. Keith Jackson. He loved his Michigan. He, uh, he loved it in such a way that even a Buckeye would like it. It might be disguised as a growl, but they would like it. And the man known as the voice of Michigan, Bob Newford. This is what we've all been waiting for for seven days. Choose your cliche, the shootout of the OK Corral. Something has to give. If we're going to have war, let it begin here on Canham's Cove. The back half to the 30, the 25, the 20, the 15, the deck. I'm going to do it. Watch your ball. Electrifies his crowd as he moves downfield. And he catches the ball. Oh, beautiful. I'm the old player from the 23-yard line. I want you to know that we're 